How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Carter Sirach here with another amazing note taking app. And this one took me a little while to get used to, but once I got into it, I really started to love it. And once I started understanding how it worked, I really you know, started getting the full benefits of it and really just enjoying it to the full potential. So stick around for the end of this video and you're going to understand how to use Rome Research and what I have been using it for so far. Let's hop right in. So at the heart of Rome Research is essentially a mind mapping software. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have taken a few notes, not many actually compared to what I've seen a lot of people taking. Um, I'm actually really just getting started with Rome Research. But uh, what I have taken notes of, you can see mind mapped out right here. You know, there's interconnected topics, the Big Bang related to Hubble's law, related to red shifts, red shifts are related to blue shifts, and red shifts are related to Hubble's law, and you know, and so on, you know. Um, it basically connects all of these topics in this mind mapping view here. So you've got this graph view is actually what it's called. You have the daily notes view that shows you your daily notes. Uh, and then you have next an all pages view where you can literally just view all of the different topics that you have taken notes on or all of the days that you have taken notes. So for July 16th, I am taking notes on a book. So I've got like today's reading notes here and then that goes into which book I am focused on and then it goes into some quotes that I've taken notes on for that book. Okay, so you can actually go and click into these different sections and they will open up even further and you know this is where it kind of turns into almost a wikipedia that i've personally created for myself to help me keep better notes and understand topics better after i write them out um, i can click through these and it basically just interlinks everything uh, and connects everything together so at a glance this is a really simple software you go in and you just take notes every single day on anything that you'd want to take notes on so for instance maybe you have a meeting that you're taking notes on or maybe you have a book that you're taking notes on, um, whatever it might be, you just go in, you take your notes on that day's uh, notepad, on that day's notepad, and then once you have those notes taken, essentially they all kind of come together and connect together. So let me just show you how this works. So let's say I have some more reading notes, or let's say I wanted to enter a second book in for today's reading notes. What I would do to create a new book is just hit the bracket button twice and then within there I can start typing the name of a book. Now I need to pull up a book for this to uh, actually become useful. I just kind of realized that. So I'm just going to hop into some of my Kindle reading material over here. I have my Kindle library uh, downloaded on my computer. So let's say I took some notes today and I wanted to go back and overview them in Rome and kind of enter them there so that I had them on file. So what I might do is head over back over to Rome really quick and we're just going to name this uh, page after the book. So reality transurfing, hit enter. And now it has created a page for reality transurfing, the book that I'm reading. And if I wanted to, I could come in here and just copy different sections. Uh, so I'm gonna click on this here so that it brings me to that page. And where it says choice, however, is different to desire. Wishes are only granted in fairy tales and most people just keep on wishing. So let's say I wanna copy this bring it back over here to Rome to paste that in because I like the way it sounds. What it will naturally do is it will give me a uh, little uh, credit here for wherever I copied this from. I like to modify this credit down and uh, make it useful because this kind of looks a little bit confusing. So what I usually do is just create a, uh, I create a page for an author in case I wanted to link to that author on multiple occasions. And then I link to the page for the book itself again just like I did up here. And then I like to just simply put in quote from page and then whatever the page is. So in this case, page 35. So the way that I like to basically determine if something is a quote is just to highlight it. So I just hover over whatever the quote is and hit command H and that will put the markup around it so that it knows to highlight it, okay? So essentially that is what will happen. And then if I go to the graph overview here, you'll see that it's created a new section kind of branching off into different, uh, different notes that I've started taking for that day. So I've got Bill Bryson, I've got Reality Transurfing, Vadim Zeeland. So I've got some authors and some book names that, I've, that I talked about on this day. I can go back and uh, here's another book name that I have. 
And you can kind of move these around so that they are interlinked together. So I've got a short history of nearly everything as a book. I've got reality transurfing as a book up here. And then maybe I have some authors a little bit further up. Or actually, it'd probably be best to put them at the bottom so that they kind of interlink out from there. So I'll put a short history of everything over here and then reality transurfing over here. And if you wanted to, you could go into all pages and I could go back to Vadim Zeeland and make sure that I just write in Vadim Zeeland is the author of reality transurfing. So I've now linked that. Um, I could also enter any notes that I want to enter about Vadim. So maybe I just put in a bio here. Um, I don't know what I would write exactly, but I could write something here. Now I go back to the graph overview and Vazim Zeeland is connected to reality transurfing. I would do the same for Bill Bryson uh, to connect him to a short history of nearly everything. But the great thing is, is this app is really quite seamless. By making these connections, you're almost recreating what your brain is seeing and what your brain is imagining. So this helps you to learn better in my opinion. And it also helps other people to see how your brain works and to see some of the things that you've learned and then you can kind of transfer that knowledge over to somebody. This is just one of those apps that naturally gets better as you use it. You'll get these huge neural networks that just look amazing. And honestly, it's quite satisfying once you get a few topics in there. Now, I love Rome Research for this sort of day-to-day -day note taking, especially when you're learning new topics because you can kind of just put everything in here and it's a really great study tool when you go back to it. Now, on the other hand, a lot of my followers know me for my project management videos that I've made, and I've just gone ahead and created this little compass that kind of just shows, you know, uh, what I use different software for and what it's really good for, in my opinion. Um, and, and I use Notion a lot, and that's because it's at the top of the complexity uh, spectrum, and it's probably a great balance between project management and note taking, in my opinion. It isn't the best project management tool out there by any means. There are much better ones out there, like Monday.com and Trello, and you guys have seen some stack by videos that I've made. Um, and on the other end of the spectrum, there are like some note taking uh, sort of softwares that I have liked to use in the past. Uh, I made a quick review on Bear, and I used to use Evernote a lot, and I don't think I have any. Evernote videos on my channel, but uh, this just gives you guys an idea of what I use certain apps for. And nowadays, most of the stuff that I do is within Notion, and I plan on moving a lot of the note-taking portions over to Rome, just because it makes the data a lot more visual, and it's just a more seamless way of taking notes. You don't have to put much thought into it. You literally just go in and take notes on your daily notepad, and then it gets interlinked out to everything else. So how about a rating? If I had to rate Rome on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it a nine. Reason being, it was a little bit confusing to get started. And obviously it doesn't have those project management features, maybe more towards an eight, just because I am big on project management. But as a sole note-taking app, I would give it a nine. Uh, it wasn't super user-friendly in the beginning. You kind of have to be smart to, to use it. You know, it's, it's targets a specific audience. But once you just get used to using it, I think you're going to really enjoy using it and you're going to enjoy the fruits of it. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and comment below. Are you using Rome? And if you are, what are you using it for? We'll see you guys in the next video.